Okay, let's get started. Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every single time that I post a video and I post every single Friday. And today is a special Friday because we are celebrating 40 years of the release of Friday 13th Part 2, which is one of my favorites from the franchise since Friday 13th is my favorite franchise. So today I want to talk a little about this sequel that, if you want to know, it wasn't supposed to come out. So if you want to know the tea, keep on watching. Now I want to start by showing this, I mean, this cutie that I found on Amazon. It's pretty hard to find actually, but I got it because I truly love this version of Jason. Because in case I didn't know, this is the first version of Jason because on this sequel is when we actually see Jason for the very first time as the killer of the movie. Because this is a fact that not everyone knows and it's that on the original Friday 13th, the real killer is Pamela Borges, not Jason, because he's dead on the movie. But how do we have a sequel? I will tell you. This movie was released back on April 13th of 1981 and directed by Steve Miner. This film follows two months after the ending of the original and then five years later. Now I'm going to give many spoilers so if you haven't watched any of these movies go on your own risk. Now if you remember on the original ending of Friday the 13th we see that Alice or final girl she is kind of safe everything is okay when suddenly Jason comes from her back and pushes her to the water and she starts asking what happened to the boy to what the police says that there was no boy so she says probably he's still out there and the last shot it's a glance of the lake and that's it so this gives the audience the expectation if Jason is still alive or it was just a dream because through the movie we see that Jason died when he was a little kid, he was drowned and that's why Pamela decided to shut down Campers Lake and started killing everybody that was trying to open it again. So making that a logical statement, obviously we all think Jason is dead and this is why the sequel wasn't supposed to come out because the sequel wasn't originally a sequel. It was supposed to be an anthological movie just based on the Friday the 13th superstition. What the plot could have been, we will never know. I mean, we had so little information we have about this film, but after the success that the movie had, especially because of the ending, because they were inspired by the ending of Carrie of 1977, that gave kind of the same experience, so they were inspired by that because if you haven't seen Carrie, you know, that leaves you on the expectation if Carrie is alive or not. So they tried to do the same thing with Jason and many people were amazed with his ending. So this is why the movie is so successful. And just six months later of the release of the movie on October 3rd, I mean, we were pink, <laughs> mean girl joke there, we, they start the production for the sequel. But the sequel it takes place five years after the first movie because they passed two months when we see Jason killing Alice and then they pass five years when we see another group that is trying to reopen Campus the Lake for the hundred times probably but Jason is the one that this time is not going to let them do it and Jason still has the head of Pamela in like an altar with the sweater and candles and everything now this movie had some troubles with the rating because it was rated X because it was really explicit so they had to cut so they could have the R rating and also had another ending. The original ending was a shot of Pamela's head and she was supposed to open her eyes. Now none either the footage of the unreleased scenes or the alternate ending has never been released or seen. So. I hope that one day I can say it because I have right here the deluxe edition. I have the original and this one. And this one still doesn't really have much difference. It's really not. So I really hope that one day we can have a really uncut version of it. So we can actually see how the movie could have went with those scenes. Because believe it or not, 
this movie received really bad reviews right now it has 28 percent of rotten tomatoes but it was a box office success so that gave the opportunity to have the franchise that we have today now another thing like i said the original image of jason was he's wearing this He's wearing this, he's not wearing his iconic hockey mask because if you have seen the franchise, you know that he starts wearing it on the third film to the ones that we have today and possibly gone and on and on. I don't think he will ever have a image change unless we count Jason X when he becomes Cyborg Jason. But we don't talk about that. So basically, in overall, this movie wasn't supposed to come out because it completely took away the magic of the ending of the original. And in my personal opinion, I don't mind having all these sequels because I love Jason. It's my favorite franchise. But I'm not going to deny the fact that at the same time, watching the first one, the ending, just watching it without thinking the fact that there are other movies, there's just magic. It's perfect because it gives you the chance to believe what you want, to interpret it the way that you want. But having the sequels and having Jason as the killer kind of takes a little bit. Also, like I said, this is something that not many people know and this is shown actually on the opening scene of Scream of 1996 when Ghostface asks to or first victim of the movie who kissed the killer in Friday the 13th and she shouts really fast that is Jason because she has seen the movie thousands of times and he obviously says no you're wrong because if you have watched it you know that it's Pamela Borges and she lost the game and we all know what happened to Casey so well basically like I said this is a fact that even if you're a diehard horror fan probably you didn't know or if you have never watched the movies probably you have known because everyone knows Jason Everyone knows that he has a hockey mask, he has a machete, and he lives on Camp Crystal Lake. By the way, this shirt is from Hot Topic, not sponsored, but I just love this shirt. But that's all like the basics of the franchise, but nobody knows that this movie wasn't supposed to even be in years. But I don't really mind because like I said, it gave us the opportunity to have Jason. Also, it's my, it's my mom's favorite film of the whole franchise. And this is something pretty similar to happen to Halloween 2. I mean, that movie wasn't really supposed to come out because if you haven't seen it, you know that the ending is a little bit... Although Halloween came out first, the Friday the 13th, but it gives the kind of same experience. And also, in case you didn't know this, Laurie, it wasn't supposed to be his sister. It was just a random girl that he wanted to kill. She's not Laurie Myers until the second one because they needed a real explanation and an excuse for having a sequel and having the connection between Lori and Michael. So there you have facts. And this is all for today's video. I know it's quite short, quite simple, but I really wanted to talk about this because like I said, it's one of my favorite horror movies. It's one of my favorites of the franchise and I don't think that many people know or talk about this. And I like to talk about things that nobody's talking because I want you to learn with me every single day, just like I learn every day. I suggest you, if you want to know more about the whole franchise, go on Shutter, that it's an amazing streaming service. They have a six hour documentary about the whole franchise. It's definitely worth it, you can just pause it, but it's thoroughly worth it because they have interviews even with Pamela, may she rest in peace, and all the cast about the whole experience of shooting the movies and everything, especially they talk about the sequel. A scene, Cunningham, he also talks about how he didn't want it, so that's why he didn't direct the second film. But I'm going to leave you right there. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Bye!